and x uh, be uh, a gr conjugacy class uh, of morphisms from from C star to, to GR. So uh, uh, such that the couple is a is a Shimura data. So whenever you have a Shimura datum, uh, you get Shimura varieties. So whenever k, uh, so whenever k in G of the finite adels uh, is a sufficiently small compact open subgroup, sufficiently small compact. Group, uh, you get uh, these varieties called S of K, and they have the property that their <coughs> set of complex points is given by a double coset space. So it's, uh, it's X cross G of the finite adels modulo K, and then modulo on the left. G of Q. Uh, and really the point of taking a Shimura datum is, is that these objects are algebraic varieties. So a priori when you write this down like this, it's just a, a topological space or a manifold. But the point that we take a Shimura datum uh, gives that these things are varieties. So these are varieties, varieties defined over a number field, so that number field is called the reflex field. Uh, these varieties are smooth and Cauchy projective. So this number field, I'm not going to define it, but it's canonically associated to your Shimura datum. Uh, so I will consider only Shimura datum of, of Fell type. So only, so consider any comma x of Fell type. Uh, this means that these varieties, uh, S of k, they parametrize abelian varieties with additional Fell structures. So then, uh, then the varieties S of k parameterize uh, abelian varieties with additional fell structures. Uh, so the P stands here for polarization. So we can consider abelian varieties that come together with the polarization. Uh, e stands for extra endomorphisms. And L stands for level structure. Uh, so, so what do I mean more precisely with parameterize? Well, it means that whenever you take a an uh, E-algebra R, and you look at the R points on your Shimura varieties, uh, you get the set of all uh, abelian varieties uh, with this extra structure that are defined over this ring R. Um, so the Newton stratification is something that exists uh, on the reduction mod P of such a variety. So I have to explain how to reduce uh, this similar variety modulo p. So I take p, uh, a prime 
uh, of good reduction. Uh, that means in particular that uh, my group GQP uh, is unramified. Uh, it means that the, that the K over there uh, decomposes into a product of a group at P and a group, group outside P. That's K P and Q P. And this group at P is, is hyper special. And the group outside P is sufficiently small. Um, and the third condition is that P is unramified in E. And the last condition is the most important one. Uh, the, so this, this Pell moduli <coughs> problem, PL moduli problem, uh, extends to a problem uh, defined over uh, OE uh, tensor ZP. And this extended problem is representable uh, by a smooth and Gaussian projective scheme. Uh, so I also write SK for this scheme. So right now SK is defined over this, this ring here, and so you can reduce SK modulo uh, prime, modulo prime numbers. So the def to define the Newton strata, I need to define uh, isocrystals. So let me first introduce some notations. Uh, so FQ, so first I pick a prime P dividing P. So this P is a prime of this reflex field. And FQ is going to be the residue field. And L is the completion to a maximal unramified extension of QP. And sigma is the uh, arithmetic Frobenius on L. So then definition, uh, an isocrystal uh, is uh, a finite dimensional L vector space V uh, together with the sigma linear uh, bijection. from V to V. Uh, so these isocrystals, they form a category. Uh, and you can take tensor products of isocrystals. So they actually are, it's actually a tensor category. So now a G isocrystal uh, it's a, an exact faithful tensor functor. Uh, from the category of, of finite dimensional uh, representations of G in QP vector spaces to the category of isocrystals. Uh, so that's a G isocrystal. And this is a little bit of an abstract definition. But if you take uh, con concrete groups, uh, such as G is GLV, or you, or you take, for example, G to be the group of matrices that uh, respect, respect some symplectic form. 
uh, then you can evaluate this functor at this uh, representation v here. And that evaluation determines the functor. So in that case, an isocrystal just boils down to, again, a, a vector space v over qt, or over l, sorry, together with a Frobenius that respects the, the representation. Uh. So the point of introducing isocrystals is, is that the points uh, on the Shimura variety modulo p, they give naturally isocrystals. So, so how does that work? So you take uh, the FQ bar points of SK, and you consider a little point x in here. And then this, this variety, uh, it's a moduli space, so corresponding to x, uh, there is an abelian variety. And of this abelian variety, I can take the p divisible group. And of that p divisible group, I can take the Diodonet module, uh, tensored with q. And that gives me uh, an isocrystal. Uh, and because I had a point x uh, on this Shimura variety, I also get additional structures. And these additional structures make that this isocrystal is actually a, a G isocrystal. So you can view these things up to isomorphism. And so you have a map uh, like this. So let's call it phi. And then the, the Newton strata uh, are the fibers of phi. So it are somehow the loci in the Shimura variety where the uh, isocrystal is constant. So these are the Newton strata. So for example, if you take the modular curve, parameterizes elliptic curves with additional structure, and then you have two possibilities for this isocrystal. So either it's ordinary or it's super singular. Uh, and for higher dimensional Shimura varieties, you have more possibilities. Yes. Uh, so that's uh, a result of uh, Rappaport, Richards, and, and Kotwitz. So they have introduced a certain set. So Rappaport, Richards, and Kotwitz. So they introduce admi new admissible isocrystals. Um, so this is a finite subset of this set of G isocrystals. And uh, they prove that, uh, so they call this set BG mu. Uh, the image of phi is included in this BG mu. Uh, so this mu is a certain invariant attached to the Hermitian space. and. Uh, well, they have uh, explicit conditions on the isocrystals that they should satisfy. And in particular, these conditions make that it's finite. Uh, so, so in my thesis, I uh, considered three questions uh, regarding the, the Newton strata. So the first question, that's already quite obvious from this inclusion over there. So you wonder, uh, is this set of Kotwitz uh, and Rappaport Richard precisely the image? Uh, so the second question. Uh, so suppose that you have some isocrystal inside the image. Uh, and you look at the fiber, so the corresponding uh, Newton stratum. So I, I didn't say this when I wrote this down, uh, but these Newton strata, they themselves, they are varieties. So here I just 
introduce them as a set, but in fact they are locally closed. And so you can ask questions about them uh, uh, as a variety. So in particular, I can ask what is the dimension uh, of this variety. So dimension. So on the third question uh, would be, uh, so suppose you take L some prime number, which is not P, and you compute the etal cohomology of the Newton stratum. Maybe I should say compute uh, as Galois such hacker So you have uh, actions of hack operators, and these hack operators, they make this etal cohomology space into a module over the hacker algebra. So you can wonder what is the, the structure of this module uh, in terms of these two things. Yes. Um, yes. So th these are the three questions. So the first question is um, mainly being uh, solved now by a result of Piemann and Redborn. <laughs> so they say the answer is yes. Uh, if the group is of type A or C, Question one says yes if G is of type A or C. Uh, so in my in my thesis, I gave a new proof uh, of this result uh, using the trace formula. So the Arthur Selberg trace formula. for groups uh, of type A. Uh, and I have a conditional result for the groups of type C. Uh, so it's conditional on stabilization of the twisted trace formula. Uh, right, so I also had some partial answers to questions two and three for some restricted classes of, very restricted classes of Shimura varieties. But uh, I won't have time to explain that, so I'll stop here. Thank you very much.